everybody welcome back to my channel uh, today I am participating in another challenge which is the monthly useful DIY challenge this is hosted every month by Mondas from Mondas Life Handmade and for this month she chose as a co-host uh, Lori from Lori Bly DIY the reason for this challenge is to create something useful and beautiful using the things you have around. Of course you can't go out and buy things right now so you have to look around your home and find things that you can use to make an item of the core or whatever you like. Yesterday I show you, I participated in another challenge and I show you how I recreated this very very pricey item, $57, sorry, <laughs> for just $4. So if you would like to see how I, and if you haven't watched it already, what are you waiting for? If you would like to see how I did that, after watching this video, after visiting the hostess ch channels and the playlist, you can look at this video that I posted yesterday. And uh, for this challenge today I'm going to use things that are all free for me. As I said yesterday and many times before my daughter and I are dumpster divers. We are dumpster chicks. The link to our channel is in the description box. So we find real treasures in the in the dumpster. So I'm going to use all things that I found in the dumpsters. Um, for I'm going to do, to make two items, and for the first one, this is a frame that again I found in the dumpster. It has no bag, so I cut out a piece of cardstock, and this is not glass; this is acrylic. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to place this here. I made marks because I'm going to place some items of the core. I printed out on a piece of scrapbooking paper these words that I like. Be stronger than your strong, strongest excuse. And I'm going to place it here. And then I'm going to close the frame with this piece of cardstock. I'm going to look how it looks from the front. I like it. Of course this is not thick enough so, so these clips are not going to work. I'm going to just bend them a little bit. But I'm going to have to glue it so I'm going to add hot glue here to adhere this and I'm going to do this all around just the corners Now I'm going to let this dry for a moment and I will show you the other piece of the core that I'm going to do, which is another frame. Again, I also found this frame in the dumpster. I really, I think, I know for sure this is from Michael's. I don't remember if this is from Michael's also. I forgot to add some hot glue here. But it's possible because we find frames at Michael's all the time. This one had the glass broken and originally was one of those ready to to paint or to finish. This was the original color. So I painted it with this Rustolium Age Metallic paint and primer in one and the color is weather steel. I love it, I use it all the time. 
and then I use the dry brush technique to distress it. Just in case, if you don't know what the dry brush technique is, I left, left this side and I'm going to show you how to do this. It's a matter of using a very old brush, the oldest the better, and a little bit of paint. And then you try to remove as much paint as possible because you only want to do some strokes, strokes, sorry. And you want the strokes to be seen, like here. So this is the dry brush technique. It's really easy. I think the light doesn't allow you to see exactly how it looks. Here it looks better. But well, it's just some strokes with strokes, sorry, with a little bit of paint. That's it. I also found in the dumpster this metal, metallic flower and, and, and leaves. It was loose, obviously it belonged to some piece of the core. So I'm going to adhere it to the frame. But first I also printed another sentiment in a piece of scrapbooking paper, collect moments, no thing, not things. And I'm going to place it inside the frame. Maybe after all this pandemic is over, I will buy another frame from Dollar Tree to use the, the glass. And I think, yes, this is the right way. But for now, it's going to be without a glass and it's going to work anyways. It has one of these pieces missing here, but it's no problem. And now you see how it looks. I did it on purpose. I um, placed the sentiment here because the flower and the leaves are, are going to cover this part. So I'm going to use hot glue. But I think that later I will have to add some E6000 for it not to move and to stay in place. But for now I want to make this as quick as possible. And so this came like this, I didn't have to paint it. That's why I painted the frame in these colors to match the flower and the leaves. And I have my first piece of the core finished. For free. <laughs> I only spend money in the scrapbooking paper and the ink for the printer, which is not much. So this is the first one. Really quick and easy. And now that this is dry... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I will probably have to remove these clips. I made these marks because I'm going to add first this piece that I don't know if you know them. Um, Bath and Body Works have these wonderful, beautiful, awesome um, plugs with. Uh, essential oils, I don't know, with perfume to uh, uh, perfume your room. I, I don't know, I can't find the word, sorry. You know my English is not good. Um, so we find them all the time in the dumpster. So we found this in the dumpster. It's mine, I kept it. And we found this one also. And you can remove what comes in the front of a, they call them wild flower, uh, wallflowers, sorry, wallflowers, because the original ones have kind of a flower here. So it's easy to remove the piece of a core from the plug. And that's what I did with the one that came with this one. 
because as soon as I saw it, I knew it, that I wanted to use it in a frame. So I made the marks here as reference, and I'm going to glue this piece. I don't want the hot glue to show, it's going to show anyway, but that's why I'm not adding a lot of hot glue, just a bit to keep it in place. And now here it is. Well, I'm going to remove this later. I have hot glue paint. <laughs> I look like a DIYer. And to finish this frame, I'm going to add this twine all around. Three times. And I'm going to tie a knot here. Like so. Well, I forgot my scissors, so later I'm going to cut these tails. But this is the main idea for for this frame. And another finished piece. Very quick, very easy, and free. <laughs> so well, these are the. DIYs I have for you today. I hope you like them. Thank you so much to both hostesses for hosting this wonderful challenge. Please visit their channels, visit the playlist, and visit our dumpster diver ch channel and uh, my video from yesterday, if possible. I would love that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done it already, and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Hope to see you in my next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and bye-bye.